I think there are Christian organizations, churches, Christian groups and stuff like that. I think some people may break apart from it because of minor disagreements. And you may say to me, what do you mean? Okay. Let's say I believe Jesus Christ always wore white while he was on this earth. And let's say you think or thought Jesus Christ always wore brown. So we are raising our voices at each other, which is a bad thing, I believe. We are getting heated, mad, and stuff like that. And we came together, ultimately, in the name of Jesus, you know, to learn and... I guess to get closer to Jesus, but now we are going to break apart because we are disagreeing upon what color clothes Jesus had on when he was on this earth. How, what word can I use without it being offensive? How silly is that? How insignificant is that whether Jesus wore red orange <laughs> turquoise whatever why would that even matter Kevin I think the earth was flat okay I think the earth is round since you don't agree with me, Kevin, we are both Christians. Yes, we pray together. We read the Bible together. We seek God together. But since you believe the earth is round, we are no longer going to fellowship together. How silly is that? How silly is that? Breaking up over insignificant stuff like that. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? I believe when Christians, true Christians, I believe when true Christians gather together in the name of Jesus, I believe that group is more powerful together. Okay, let's say I serve God, right? Which I do, which I believe I do. Okay, so I believe there is power in serving God. So let's say there is five more that serve God and we gather together, pray together, fast together. Isn't that more power? I believe so. So if you was a demon, would you want that to prosper? Would you want that to continue? I don't think so. So what would you try to do? I believe if you was a demon, if you were a demon, I believe you would try to break up that gathering, right? If there are, if there is a group of people coming against you, why wouldn't you try to break that up if you were a demon, right? I think some Christian people break apart over silly stuff. I can see if you are at a church and they believe in that once saved, always saved stuff. Okay, leave that church. Hey, you can do whatever you want. All you have to do is believe in Jesus and you can rape people. You can slap people. You can beat on your wife. 
you can cuss folks out and as long as you believe in Jesus, you are still saved. You can't lose your salvation. Okay. If there are if there is a church teaching that, leave it. If there is a Christian group teaching that, leave it. But this flat earth and round earth and what type of sandals do you think Jesus wore or did he walk around barefooted? Uh, how long was his toenails if he wore sandals or not? And, and did Jesus have dreadlocks or silly stuff, man? I believe that is silly stuff. So, be mindful of that if you are coming around other Christians. Be mindful of that if you are attending a church or some type of Christian group. I believe demons will try to get you all to break apart. I believe that. So, stop with the insignificant stuff. Let me stop here. God bless you.